I was out cutting firewood the other day with my dad and we happened across this big oak tree that was completely hollow through the inside. And my first thought was like, wow, that would make a really good water feature. So I texted my brother who's got kids and I said, hey, how would you and your wife like to have a small pond in your backyard with a waterfall that your girls can float paper sailboats over? And he said that sounded like a pretty good idea. So here we are. So my brother and his wife just went through this big house expansion and since they haven't touched the backyard yet, it's a total blank slate. This pile of boulders was dug up during construction and it's just been sitting out front. They have a bit of a surplus. So we're gonna use these to set a wall at the base of our fountain for the pond and then eventually use these in the feature itself. With the pond lined out at the base, I can start visualizing where we want to dig out for the log. been raining non-stop for like an hour and a half so I'm not filming a ton um, but I got my rocks set around the pond and for the log so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start rolling my liner out in the rain in the mud um, and maybe try to get that log set in before the end of the day and we've only been up here for like four hours uh, my dad running the tractor with rock back and forth and me setting and guiding the rock in we're really moving along. We got a lot done today. I might jump cut to the liner being rolled out because I'm about to get all muddy. And like I said, it's pouring rain, so I don't want to film and get my camera all soaked. You see here, kids? You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes after or what came before. You just gotta bend your knees, take a deep breath, and jump. And you might think, what if I fall? Well, what did you go? What did you find? So to stabilize the log, I put some three inch screws into the base of it and left them sticking out about an inch. So then when I poured my concrete in, about 80 pounds worth, it's gonna harden over those screws and keep my log steady. I did the same thing on the back uphill side where you can't see it and it'll be buried and that'll keep the log from rolling. So this is the time consuming part of just stacking and restacking the rock to cover the liner and make the water flow where I want it to. This is also when I'll start folding or cutting the liner back where it's not needed. You just have to be careful not to remove too much so you end up with leaks or splashing out. Okay, it is another new day. It has been raining off and on since I started this project, so everything is covered in mud. So it really doesn't look like much, but I've got it all set in from the bottom to the top. I brought a bag of little round rock river pebbles and I bought a bag of sand and I'm sort of filling in the river area to make it look like a river. And I'm filling up the edge of the pond with dirt and more rock from around their house to make it look natural. So it'll look like they just have a pond at the bottom. Uh, that cattail got planted along with the ferns. There's a fern on the top of the log and a fern underneath the log. And I put these little, little ground covers in around the rock wall at the bottom and over by the waterfall so that those will grow in and drape over the rocks. But like I said, right now it just looks like a muddy mess. I'm gonna fill up from the top down and then start the pump up and we're gonna do our first real test run with the pump. So we're just gonna see what it looks like. 
So I left this thing running through a weekend. So it's been going about three days without me here just to kind of check everything. So I had a small leak on the back side that was just seeping out where the liner had sunk in the mud. So I pulled the liner up and fixed that. And I'm realizing on my top waterfall here that the foam wasn't thorough enough and most of the water is going underneath the waterfall. So we're gonna have to fix that today. So I'm gonna shut it down, make my final adjustments, and then we're gonna run it and we'll get the final shot of the whole thing done because everything else is looking really good. Okay, so this project is done. It's been running for several days. It's not leaking. The waterfalls look really good. There's still a lot of dirt in it, but it's been raining and there's no landscaping back here yet. So all this dirt off the hillside is just getting washed in with the rain. But that'll go away when they finish landscaping the hillside. I went ahead and I planted these little ground covers in here for them in the ferns to, to let those grow in between the rocks and fill in some of the cracks and make it look good. But those won't grow in until the spring and summer. They're gonna put a lawn back here and some garden beds, but I'm gonna leave that up to them. If you enjoyed this video and thought this project was cool, leave me a like below, comment anything you want, and subscribe to my channel. I do all kinds of landscape and gardening and lifestyle DIY videos and vlogs, so I have more projects like this planned. Subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for following along. Peace.